Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to talk about L A L R parsing. So we have, in our previous videos, we have talked about the different types of parsings and then we saw the L R one item construction and we looked at C L R one parsing. So we see that in this parsing algorithm, canonical LR1, it uses a look ahead in order to distinguish between uh, where to put the reduced moves in the parsing table. But we have also seen that our parsing table here, this is the, for the grammar that we had considered earlier, this is the uh, transition table, transition diagram and this is the parsing table. So here, uh, we saw that the number of states in this in the CLR parsing table is 10 in this case, which is very large. So, uh, in, a pr in a practical programming language like say C, the grammar would be very large. And as a result, the number of states would be in hundreds. So, having a parsing table of this size, that is the CLR parsing table, would be very cumbersome to manage because it will have huge number of states and finding a state or finding a row would take more time but we have also seen that CLR is very powerful parser so we would like to have the power of this CLR parser at the same time you would like to reduce the number of states so to do that we have our LALR parsers so our LALR parsers are similar to CLR but it has got lesser number of states and how do we get the lesser number of states we combine some of the states of the CLR uh, or the LR1 item sets so we're going to combine some of the states so um, for construction of the LALR parsing table we have to construct the item sets item sets same as LR1. So this that this uh, diagram that we had already constructed this is going to be used again okay and then we have to construct the construct the parsing table. Then we're going to construct the parsing table. So if we come back and look at this particular diagram, you'll see that some of these states, okay, the items in the states are same, except that only difference is in the look ahead. For example, if you see uh, this one, I9 and I8, these two are same small c capital C dot here the look ahead is dollar here the look ahead look ahead is CD so 8 and 9 are same same way 7 and 4 are also same okay only difference is in the look ahead the item is the same difference is in the look ahead in the same way I3 that you see here I3 and I6 are let me use a different color I3 and I6, I6 here, I3 here, these are also same. Okay, the only difference is in the look ahead. So, what we are going to do is we are going to combine these states. The states which have the same item sets but different look ahead symbols. So, we are going to combine these. So, let's see how we'll do this. So, we saw that states 3, 3 and what did we have? We had uh, 3 and 6 same, 4 and 7, 3 and 6, 4 and 7, 8 and 9. So these states are same. So we will see how we can combine them together. So 3 and 6 we can combine them together and get an uh, a, a particular um, item. I three six this state. Similarly, 
4 and 7 we can combine by and get a state 4, 7. And I, 8 and 9 we can combine to get I, 8, 9. And what will be this sets? I, 3, 6 will contain C derives small c dot capital C and the lookaheads would be C, D and dollar. So all the lookaheads we are going to combine. And next item is C dot small c capital C, C, D dollar and uh, C derives dot D, C, D and dollar. So we have combined these two uh, this. Similarly, I 4, 7 would be C derives D dot and the look ahead would be C D dollar. I 8, 9 would be C derives small c capital C dot C D and dollar. So these are the combined states. So we saw that out now instead of 10 we have 10 minus we are re reducing three states three states we have combined so we get seven states. So now what would be the table be like? So the table would be like 0 remains same 1 2 3 and 6 has combined so we instead of writing 3 we will write 3 6. 4 and 7 has combined so we will write 4 7. Then we have 5. 5 is not combined with anything else. 6 has already gone to 3. 7 has already gone to 4 and we are left with 8 9. And of course we have uh, not A B uh, C C D dollar and here I have our go to section so s and c so uh, we have this is our table now we are going to construct the table so from our original table we had 0 was going to shift 3 now in, now there is no state 3 it is 3 6 so we'll write 3 6 for c and 4 is not there, it is 4, 7, so we will write 4, 7. So, shift 3, 6 on D, shift 4, 7. And this remains the same. Okay. Then for 1, for 1, we have S, 6. So, 6 is not there, so 3, 6. 7 is not there anymore, so 4, 7. So, for 1, oh, sorry, for 2, it would be S, 3, 6, S, 4, 7. For 1, this is dollar is except. Then, for 3, 6, that is 3 or 6, for 3 or 6, we will write the same. For 3, 6, it is uh, 3, so we will write 3, 6, S, 3, 6, and this was 4, so we will write S, S, 4, 7. Then we have um, for state 4, 7, 4, which has become 4, 7. Now reduce 3, reduce 3 for C and D. Reduce 3, reduce 3. Okay. Then we are left with 5. So 5 we have for 5, we have reduce 1 for dollar. So 5 does not change. So reduce 1 for dollar. Then we have for 8, we have our reduce 2. 8 has now become 8, 9. So reduce 2, reduce 2. Reduce 2, reduce 2. And for 9, we had reduce 2 for dollar. So we'll write reduce 2 here. And for the go to, we had on uh, we had five on two, so this we will keep two on C. Go to five, then uh, three on three six. That is three or three six. Now we'll go to eight. So three six. 
will go to 8. Now, 8 is not there anymore. It is 8, 9. So, we will replace this by 8, 9. So, this is the parsing table. So, now you can see we have got how many states? 7 states. So, this is your L, A, L, R parsing table. So, we will see the, some of the problems with uh, uh, LALR parsing table, that is the conflicts that can happen in the next video. But uh, remember, this is the most practical uh, parsing algorithm that is uh, there. And most, uh, most of our automated uh, parsers that are existing today, like we will be using YAC, Y-A-C-C, that is a LALR parser. So, uh, that is all about LA, LR parsing. The parsing algorithm is the same for all the different, whether it is LR0, SLR, CLR or LALR, the parsing algorithm is the same. This, you parse in the same way. Only difference is the construction of the, uh, of the item sets and construction of the parsing table.